Hey guys, welcome to YouTube channel where we talk all about gate exam and we are studying DBMS. Welcome back. Under the normalization, under the decomposition, the very first property have been explained, lossless joint property. If you're directly coming to this video, I would request, please go back to the previous video where we have totally understood the details of lossless joint property, how a decomposition can be lossy, how it can be lossless. Now, in this video, we are going to check for the given set of decomposition, whether it is lossy or lossless. So let's do that. The very first question says a relation R, which have five attributes A, B, C, D, E. Okay, so this is given and this is a given FD set. It has three functional dependencies defined. And this is a decomposed set D, where it has R1 and it has R2. Okay, R1 says A, B, R2 says A, C, D. Check whether this is a lossless joint decomposition or not. Okay, so for that matter, first of all, guys, the very first thing that we need to check is whether it is the decomposition. The decomposition is the attribute preservation or not. Whether it is containing all the attributes of the relation R or not. None of the attributes should be missed that I explained in the decomposition properties. Correct. So here we have A, okay, here we have B, all right, we have C, right, we have D, right, but we don't have E, oh my God. So this is not preserving, see, E is missing, so E is missing from D. So forget about lossless join. It is not a proper decomposition. It is not even preserving the attributes. Once it is not preserving all the attributes, certainly it cannot be lossless join. It cannot be functional dependency preservation also. Okay, it cannot even preserve all the dependencies. It is not preserving the attribute. So this is wrong or invalid decomposition. Okay wrong decomposition the, the very first thing is not matching so we need not to check for anything else now let's go for the second question relation r with four attributes a b c d all right and we have the decomposed uh, the functional dependency defined a b a to b b to c and c to d three dependencies are there and this is the decomposed set which we say this is my r1 this is my r2 okay so now we need to check whether it is a lossless join or not so first of all at as we did in this question, we always have to check for the attribute preservation, whether it is preserving all the attributes or not. So it is containing A, B, C, D. It is containing all the four of them. So yes, yes for attribute preservation. Okay, now second. Secondly, we have to check whether do we have anything in common or not. That means the first condition is Attribute preservation, the second condition is R1 intersection R2 should not be equal to 5. That is the second condition for the lossless join. The very first thing is attribute preservation. The next thing is R1 intersection R2 should not be equal to 5. Now you see whether AB intersection CD is equal to 5 or not. Yes, it is equal to 5. If it is equal to 5, then there is no point because once you don't have any attribute in common, you cannot further in future, you cannot join them. For making a join between them, you need to have some attribute which is common among them. Right? Right. And you know, if you will, once you will get into the details and you will go to the uh, entity relationship part, when we are going to do discuss that in future, you will understand the foreign key concept. And having a common attribute among two tables, implies that you are going to implement a foreign key somewhere okay so there is no such thing is here so here again this is lossy decomposition okay this is lossy i mean for this one also we could say that it is lossy Okay, so that is loss of decomposition. Even this one is loss of decomposition. You must be thinking that ma'am took both the examples such that they are lossy. Yes, it was intended because I wanted to make you understand the importance of the very first thing, attribute preservation. The second thing, the attribute common. There should be something common between the R1 and R2. And then we check for the third condition, which probably we will see in the next question, which says R1 intersection R2 should either determine R1 or it should determine or it should determine R2. 
okay this is definitely a or condition which if you are coming from the previous video you must be understanding that this was evolved we did this with the help of examples correct but these two of course can never be ignored these are the primary requirements for this thing to be checked first of all you need to check for these two so let's solve some more questions and the next question number three is we have a relation r with a b c d e f attribute fixed attributes are there the given function dependency set is there and this is the decomposed relation we need to check whether it is lossless or not so first of all check for all the attributes present so we have a b c d e f yes we have all the six attributes present second check whether do have anything common or not so yes we do have the common attribute that is e okay the attribute e is common between r1 and r2 assuming these are r1 and r2 so then what is the next step the next step is whatever attribute is common so e is common attribute take its closure whatever attribute is, uh, is common take its closure and check whether it is a super key of any of the relation or not so what is e plus from this given functional dependency set every attribute determined itself yes it does furthermore do you see e determining anything else not at all e does not determine anything else e determines only e so can you say i can say that e is not either equal to r1 and it is not even equal to r2 okay e is not determining neither the r1 nor the r2 and in that case what does it become it becomes lossy decomposition okay you must be really wondering ma'am in which example you are going to give us the lossless join soon very soon i probably this question itself is lossless join but this one is lossy so you have seen first attribute preservation second the common attribute and the third whatever is a common attribute its closure should determine either r1 or r2 so the three conditions how they become false we have seen one by one and i hope this really makes you understand the concept very well so let's see the fourth question probably where all the three conditions will be very much true okay so let's see a relation r with a b c d function dependency set is given and we have the decomposed set so let's assume this is my r1 this is my r2 you can have any numbering doesn't matter so now to solve it first of all does it have all the attributes it is it has a b c d do we have anything in common yes we have so what is common b c is a common attribute you see b c is common between two so let's find out the closure of b c okay so what is the closure of bc bc of course determines itself then further c determines the value of d all right then further d determines the value of a all right so it ultimately determines what it determines a b c d which simply means i can say that bc determines a b c yes you can say that i can also say that bc determines b c d yes you can say that you all have understood the function dependency very much in detail if at all any doubt is there please go to the respective video of fd and understand how this determination comes out right right so if i can say this or if i can say this any of the one see as i say every time it need not to be true at the same time even if this is true or even if this is true either of the two is true that means it is a lossless join so true and true and that makes up a lossless join so finally we have come to a answer uh, we have come to a question of the decomposition set which says it is lossless join this one was lossy okay this one was lossy so let's sort some more question i am increasing the difficulty level a little bit just just to help you in order to understand what if the decomposition set contains three relations okay it's not only containing two we have seen how to deal with two now if contains three so we have a relation r with a b c d e five attributes and the given function dependency set now the decomposition says a b c b c d and c d so i am namely giving them name as r1 r2 and r3 now first of all is it containing all the attributes yes it is do we have attributes in common yes we do have so how do we check for that nothing just now at this moment of time take pair okay take everything pair by pair if you remember from the decomposition property part i give you the statement 
R1 natural joint, R2 natural joint, RK, everything taken together, natural joint should be equal to the given relation R. Natural joint is a binary operation. At a time, two tables can be joined together. Then it results into a table which is joined with a further relation. Then it becomes a bigger relation which is joined with a further relation. Correct? So, uh, at a time, you will take two of the tables, you will join them. Then you will make a bigger table which will be joined with a further remaining table. That's how we are going to do. So let's do between A, B, C and B, C, D. So I'm taking A, B, C and B, C, D. Okay. Do we have common attribute? Yes, we have B, C as common attribute. What is B, C plus? Find it out from there. B, C plus gives you B, C. Other than that, C gives you D. D gives you E. Right? That's it. That's it. But that's sufficient for us because BC plus says it determines the value of BCD, which simply means that BC plus can determine BCD. It's, it is the super key of BCD. That is sufficient for us. Now, what does we do after that? After that, once we have checked for them that they are in between, these two are lossless join, then you merge them. What do you do? You merge them and it becomes what? It becomes A, B, C, D. It becomes one single relation A, B, C, D. You have joined them. You have performed the join operation between this and between this. Okay. And now you check this one with the last third one. That is C, D, E. Okay. Now this is to be checked. Furthermore, find out the common tuple, a common attribute. So that is C, D. So what is common between them? C, D. Let's take the closure of C, D plus. From there, C D plus gives you C D and D gives you E. So C D plus gives you C D E. Now what do you see? You find this is the closure of this. And this says what? That it is the super key of C D E. So C D is a super key of C D E. Which simply means that once again this part and this part can be joined without generating any spurious tuple. Okay, we simply say that this is a lossless joint again. So this is lossless, this is lossless all together. This decomposition is lossless joint. All right, I hope this is clear. How do we do it? Now, important uh, thing to understand here is in this particular case, it was following the order just like that one by one. I start, I keep on joining it and it started giving me the right result. But there might be chances once I join two of them, it does not give me the right output. But there I need not to stop. I need to check out all the combinations. Okay. All the combinations means if I join R1 with R2, if it does not work out, I need to check R1 with R3. If that also does not work, check for R2 with R3, like that. So you have to exhaust, you have to check for all the combinations or all the possible options there till they get all exhausted and all of the results the same that it is lossy. Then only you declare that yes, it is lossy. Otherwise, you don't say it is lossy. Okay, with the very first combination, if it is lossy, we cannot straightforward say that it is lossy. You have to keep on checking for all the combinations because again, as per the bigger statement, the generalized statement, the join between the child tables, it can be in any order. Okay, you can take any of the two tables first and then join them. Then with the third one. So that need not to be from R1, R2, R3 like this. It could be somewhere in between also. But ultimately all of them joined together should result into R. Alright. So for that matter, I have taken this another example. Number 6. Where we have again a relation R with A, B, C, D. The functional dependency set is right here. And we have a decomposition with 3 tables. Okay. Now let's check whether this is a lossless or it is lossy. So first of all, I am going to make the combination of AB and AD. So I take the common attribute A plus and A plus gives me what? It gives me A, B, C and D. It gives me all the four attributes that simply say that it is the super key of this also and this also. So up till here everything is fine. So let's join them. So it becomes A, B, D and now I will check them with C, D. So now I will check them with C, D. Now what is the common attribute? between these two. D. D is a common. Let's take the D closure. What is the D closure? 
D closure from here is nothing but then only D. Now, if it is only D, it is not the super key of either this part or this part. We simply say that it is lossy at this moment of time. So now guys, that is exactly what I was trying to say that right here, you cannot declare that it is lossy. Okay, this first combination, this first combination did not work out. So let's go for the second combination. Let's go for the second. What could be the second combination? It could be anything. Let's take AB with CD. So I take AB with CD. Now, right here, when I try to take this combination, you find that there is nothing common. There is nothing common among them. So we cannot go further. So this option also exhausted. Not of work. Go for the third option. But even here, you will not declare it. We'll go for the third option. The third option could be check with AD and CD. Checking with the AD and CD. What is a common attribute? D is a common attribute. So D plus, what does it give you? It gives you only D. It gives us only D. And if it is so, it is not a super key of either this or this. And now my all the combinations have been exhausted. Neither of the combination gave me the lossless join option. This is not giving. This one is also not giving. And this one is also not giving. Now I am in a position to say and declare that yes, this decomposition is a lossy decomposition. Okay. So this D is lossy. I hope this is clear that how and when do you declare. You don't declare right at the first instance, you exhaust all the instances and then only you declare. And the very first uh, example explains that how you can, in one instance only, you can find it to be lossless. I hope these questions, which all were different from each other, have made you understand completely that how to check for the lossless decomposition property for the given table. And this is, this, this is going to be very handy when a question will come in the gate exam, which where this is probably it's going to be one part of the question. You are supposed to check for both lossless join as well as the dependency preservation. So one part we have achieved. I see you once again very soon in the next video. You practice the, these questions and if you are really following and if you want to solve more questions, you can just ask me. I'll drop them down in the next video or else in the comment section. I really have plenty of questions to solve. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.